guys so I've been working on this scene for a little while and um, finally got around to rendering it and you know it's been rendering for a couple weeks now to get these nice beautiful uh, finished images and I just wanted to show you that I'm full of bullshit and you don't have to wait to render anymore because we've got Blender EV which is uh, a new project that the Blender developers are working on and it's just blowing minds left and right. People are, um, well I'm freaking out a little bit about it and I just wanted to make a little video to um, share what's going on here on the on the Blender side. So um, basically this is a full, uh, a real-time engine, uh, basically like a modern video game graphics engine built into Blender so we can we can start modeling things inside of Blender and it doesn't care it's go it's going at real time it doesn't need to wait or render and it looks beautiful so check this out when I when I stop my view it starts to calculate all these lighting probes see that it starts to um, calculate global illumination or at least like an approximation of it so you get this really beautiful um, secondary lighting like these these bounces underneath the, the bike and off these cubes and I think it looks really good in this clay material but yeah these kind of secondary lights or bounces are normally something that would take you know 10 15 minutes per frame to render and it you know it takes forever especially when you have 700 frames in your animation but now it's all basically for free we, we get it um, and I can do my play blast here and show the animation that was running just now um, it's just crazy this is running at 20 15 20 frames per second in two viewports at the same time and uh, yeah, um, okay. So, of course, all of our lighting is responding um, real time. And I'm getting these weird bugs. Uh, if any developers are watching this, I I I just want you to know I'm, I'm not, I don't want to complain too much because this is so amazing. But just a little heads up, like my. Um, my gizmo's broken or something's broken like it's not moving the correct thing anymore and I can't deselect or select with A for some reason but it, it was working when I first opened the scene um, and this is uh, left left mouse select by the way might might be screwing it up I don't know but yeah as soon as you stop the the scene it starts to recalculate those lights we can change um, the color of a light I just go in here, say this headlight, let's make it blue. Oh my god, it's crazy. You can get, I, c I can get this light over here and make it orange or green. And it, it shows up in the first bounce right away, but then in the second bounce, usually we have to wait for it to recalculate this, these probes. Um, But anyways, this is a combination of a lot of little lighting tricks that are used in a lot of um, video games these days, like uh, ambient occlusion, um, screen space reflection, uh, reflection probes, uh, indirect lighting probes, um, depth of field, motion blur, transparency, roughness, all these really cool um, technologies coming together to make something 90% as good as a as a ray trace render but taking a small 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 fraction of the time so you know this is 20 frames per second while you know a, a regular ray trace render would be maybe 15 minutes per frame so it's I don't know what is that like a hundred times faster or more for 90% of the quality but anyways, um, yep, just wanted to share that little bit with you and uh, maybe get one of these bugs 
looked at or, or just a heads up for the developers to check it out but yep exciting stuff <laughs>